we may have missed our opportunity to make a snowman. Just, we may have missed it. It, uh, that's the beauty of spring snowstorms in Colorado. It melts like death. <laughs> Next year. Yeah. It doesn't snow so and it's cool like the ice cream. I know it's not quite. We lost a tree branch. Pretty good size one, but you know. Uh, that's what happens with snowstorms. You lose tree branches and it actually is healthy for the tree because that probably means it was a weak branch and it allows other branches to grow bigger and stronger and so it's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Papa. Ooh, it's bright. Yeah. Okay, I think yesterday we ended with 14 clips. That was a, now that is the definition of a simple vlog. And so, not gonna let that happen today. True love's just waking up. She's yawning inside. Hi, hon! How you doing? I love you. I love you. To be honest. Whoa! Going up the ladder to shovel the swamp cooler. Whoa, shovel the snow away. Hey. Okay, that's, that's here, hold Papa's goes. hand. That's what goes, it's, is there a long pipe to our house? It actually just goes down the gutter. Okay, got it? Okay. It was a big one, wasn't it? Yeah! It was a big we storm. We caused so much snow around in Colorado. All right, Brandon and Kyle. This is the sealant that I've put around the swamp cooler. For any new viewer to the VLOG, the bane of my existence over the past, uh, you know, let's say 12 months has been the swamp cooler leaking into the house. So, here's where I've sealed the swamp cooler basically outside around the shingles and around the roof. This is what it looks like, but you know, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's fixed. Here, here we go. I, I guarantee it's not fixed. Me okay. too, Pop. Well, okay, move your shadow. You just walk over, there you go. See, this is the tar I've put down, but it's just, you know. Anyway, I don't know. So, I, maybe I just need to put more, maybe I'm just missing it, but Kyle and Brandon, I need your, need your expert advice, guys. That's why I have to come up and shovel whenever it uh, snows. All right, time to go back down. Yeah. It really is true. Guys, I... So the day is almost over once again. <laughs> it just goes quick, ladies and gentlemen. So remember at the end of yesterday's vlog, I was gonna show you something fun to do on YouTube? Well, it's something very basic, very simple, but let me show you real quick. Basically, go to your favorite YouTuber's channel, 
navigate to your favorite playlist on their channel. So find the, find the playlist tab up toward the top, then click on that playlist, and then hit um, play all. And then once you get to play all, there's two arrows that cross, kind of like that, just like that, two arrows, and that turns on shuffle. It's called shuffle. So you turn on shuffle, you hit play, and basically, this is especially relevant if the person that you follow uh, has, let's say, about 100 videos on YouTube. And because basically, it will play through all of those videos on shuffle. And what is cool about that, and I just did it for my channel, uh, I've done it once before, but I just remember basically yesterday when I was working all day on a Saturday, I was a little bored. So I was like, huh. Let's go watch some old videos. Why? To remember. Remember our roots, right? Remember where we've been. Remember our blessings. So, um, basically, it takes you... So, I'm going to actually skip ahead here to the next one. And so, that was yesterday's vlog. And it just took me to a vlog from February 24th, 2017, titled Going Back Into Debt. I'm going to hit it one more time just to show you guys. I'm going to skip this ad. And so there's that. So, you know, I remember that. But let's just do it one more time. And then this one, yes, was published December 17th, 2016. So, you know, almost, that was vlog 262. And that was almost five, um, five months ago. And basically, it's just cool to go back and reflect. Like, I'm going to do this for Fabio. I'm going to do this for Sean. I'm going to do this for Andrew. I'm gonna do it for Damien and Kofuzi and all those guys, uh, just to see some of their older videos from way back in the day, uh, because I haven't watched, you know, I haven't watched a lot of you guys at the, in the beginning. So once again, go to go to your favorite YouTuber, go to your favorite playlist. Hopefully, they have over 100 videos, and then hit shuffle and bada bing, bada boom, get ready for a good time. Not to mention, it doesn't hurt to uh, help support your local YouTuber. So, the secret to a good recovery from a long training run or race, like a marathon or half marathon or even a 10K, if you're not used to that distance, that distance is Epsom salt. Have you ever, this is the question of the day, knock, knock, knock. Have you ever heard of Epsom salt? Have you ever used Epsom salt? And did it work for you? So, E-P-S-O-M, salt. It's a soaking solution. It helps relieve aches, pains, uh, sprains, stings, it just like alleviates the tension in your muscles. All right, so I'm gonna hop in, get a little Epsom salt bath on, and let you know how I feel. But this is uh, another trick of the day, tip of the day. And uh, the race is six days away for me, so whew, gearing up for that. And um, it's basically a magnesium sulfate USP solution. So, anyway, 